Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Ahmad Tawseef back with a new video. Today we are going to talk about the most important thing which every business manager needs to know. And the most of the students who are writing the examinations of BTEC, MBA and other courses where management is one of their subject has to study this particular topic. Finally, those people who want to start up their business, they need to know this topic. They need to know this thoroughly so that they can build their business, so that they can get maximum efforts from the people to help you gain what you want in your career path or in your business. I am Mohammad Tawseef, working as assistant professor in the Department of Business Management, having an ample experience in the field of management, working abroad in UK, other countries and in India. Welcome back to Motivational Theory Lecture. In the previous lecture, we have seen what definition, Number meaning, two. types and the relationship between employee engagement, performance and motivation. Now we're going to look at three different theories of motivation. There are so many theories and out of which three of them we will discuss in this particular lecture. And I want you to watch this video completely and suggest friends to watch this channel, subscribe the channel so that this channel will grow and reach all those people who really need something to make the real difference in their life. First motivational theory is about Abraham Maslow's needs theory. This is the most popular theory and most of them knows about it, but we'll discuss in detail so that it will help you to write the examinations. Abraham Maslow proposed this theory in 1943 and um, he have created a model on uh, how needs grow actually. What is the hierarchy of the needs? Based on the hierarchy of the needs, we will motivate the employees. So according to Abraham Maslow, the first level of hierarchy of needs is physiological needs. Physiological needs are basic needs which every employee wants, everybody wants in an, uh, to live, to survive. For example, air, water, food, shelter, sleep, clothing, etc. All these need, all these things are very important to live. So without this, a person will not have another need at all because he wants these needs to be first fulfilled, then he wants to go to the other needs. The second level is called a safety level. Every one of us, after we get this physiological needs, we think about something to uh, survive. I mean to say a small job, some security, personal security, employment, health, some property, uh, a small employment so that I can, um, I can generate some revenue from my family and myself. So that is the second level of needs theory. So now a person already uh, have um, fulfilled his physiological needs. Now he got a job and uh, he's got good health and he's also having good secu personal security. Then after he will look for the third type of needs. He wants his third type of needs to be fulfilled. That is called as love and belonging. Friendship, family, connections, networking all comes under this particular level. Without safety, without a job, he will never think about friendship, family and all that. He will not be more concerned about it because he is always worried about his health, his security, employment and everything. So once you have love and belonging, once you have family, friendship and all connection, then a person will always think about esteem needs. That is the fourth level of hierarchy, hierarchy of needs. Esteem needs includes the respect, the status, the recognition you want, the strength, the freedom. You want all this once you get settled in your life. You want everybody to respect you, your words, your status and uh, you want everybody to recognize your efforts and uh, you want to show that you are strong, you are free. 
these all comes after the third level which is love and belonging and the fourth level is esteem needs once you have good respect in the society you got better status and everybody is recognizing you the final stage of needs theory of abraham maslow is self actualization needs in this there is a desire to become the most that one can be you want to be a popular personality you want to be a celebrity you want to be somebody knows you you want everybody to know you you want to come into a press um and give a press meeting you want to um go, do seminars you want to inaugurate uh, things you want to distribute um charitable goods and all these things only comes when you have when you have crossed all four limits or levels so based on this needs theory based on this all uh, levels if we know that what level is an employee in then it is easy for us to motivate them for example if he is um if he is struggling in his safety needs we can find him a permanent job we can say uh we can give him a um, good secure um, place to work and uh, you know uh, health plans so that he can uh, look after his health suppose he is in the third stage then we can also think about giving him family holidays work life balance and everything so we should think we should uh, analyze where the employees belong to based on that we will go for it the second type of theory is called as herzberg's theory herzberg's theory is similar to um, levels of needs theory or needs theory of maslow the bottom three levels physiological safety and love and belonging belongs to hygiene factor and the top two levels esteem and self actualization belong to motivation factors motivators according to hersberg there are two factors one is hygiene factor the other one is motivator factors hygiene factors are those if they are not there a person will not get satisfied in order to make employees satisfied we need to provide basic needs safety needs and love and belonging once a person is satisfied then only we can move towards the motivator factors which is nothing but self esteem needs and self actualization needs if i don't provide if i don't look after hygiene factors and provide them motivation it will not work out so first we need to think about the hygiene factors then move towards the um, motivator factors the third theory is about theory x and theory y by douglas macgregor according to douglas macgregor there are two two types of managers one is theory x manager the other one is theory y manager theory x manager are more autocratic kind of people and theory y managers are more participative collaborative kind of workers theory x go by rules and regulation and theory y people sometimes go beyond the rules uh, in order to bring newness in order to achieve the objectives theory x people don't take much risk but theory y people believe that work in the work risk and challenge is part and parcel of the work and taking the challenge taking the risk will outperform will will help us to beat the competition theory x manager believes that safe and secured life and theory y manager thinks that security and safety are the basic things and what really requires is the fast growth technology more technology in the company and uh, um, accept all the newness innovative and creative ideas so that we move ahead in faster manner theory x managers are they just believe in rewards and punishments and theory y managers believes in internal motivation der- drive to work and uh, that really real drive 
will help people to work better so according to mcgregor theory x and theory y have their own importance but theory y is more applicable to this present scenario because world is changing around us we need people to take the risk we need people to take challenges face the challenges and explore the opportunities um strengthen their um, um core areas and work on their weaknesses and achieve the best results thank you very much once again for watching this video um this is unit 5 4 of uh, fundamentals of management according to jntuh syllabus and um, it is unit 4 or 5 from um management and organization behavior and at the same time most of the universities follow this same modules in their curriculum so make sure that you pass to pass these videos to as many as possible because i'm using a very slow pace and um, i'm trying to make the video so simple that people understand it people get it and apply it in in their real life thank you once again have a nice day